Yeah, baby girl, Josh here with the Pride Productions, back in UE4 with an eighth UMG tutorial. And it's going to be real fast, and if you hear a little bit of sizzle while I'm talking, I apologize. I appreciate you guys hitting up our EP, love you, miss you. Now anyway, let's talk about adding a quick widget to an actor. So we don't want it to print on the screen, we want to print it, we want it to be on an actor, but we still want to be able to see it all the time and all that good stuff. Let's talk about it. It's real easy. So the first thing we're going to need is I want a new character. So I'm going to, we got a third person character I'm playing with here, we're going to right click. We're going to duplicate. I'm going to name him the Emony. Okay, he's going to be my Emony. Now, I'm going to I'm gonna double click on him. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get rid of all the code because it's just not necessary. And again, you don't have to do this. You know, This is just for the purpose of the tutorial. And it'll get on my nerves. I'm going to get rid of the camera. I'm going to get rid of the boom because it's not necessary. I'm not going to change his collar or anything, bro. We got him. I'm going to drag him in here and set him right there. Oh, no. Oh, God. Let's, let's get him on the ground here. Snap. There he is. So now, if I all P... I'm running around, and I got this guy that looks just like me. He's nasty sexy. Look at him. He's He's got a big old... Now, the thing that we're going to do is we're going to use him. We're going to add a widget to him, and I'll be able to see him. And for now, we're not going to do any code. We're just going to make it look like a health bar. You know what I'm saying? We'll make it look like a health bar and just plug it up there and make it to where when we get close to him, it pops up. Okay? So it's simple, simple. Keep it simple today. We need to right-click while we're in this DP folder. You better be inside of the DP. Go to User Interface, Widget Blueprint. I'll just name it HUD. We'll keep it simple, okay? And we'll double-click on HUD. Now, before you do anything, I always get rid of the canvas. I do it. But even before that, I go up here, make sure it's desired on screen, and get rid of the canvas because I'm just going to use a size box quickly and make a quick progress bar that fits inside of the size box. So type in size box, drag it in, and this is what's important. Let's remember the, the size of it. I'm going to do 200 by 20. Okay, you got the 200 there. I'm going to go down to the second box and set it to 20. So that's the horizontal and the vertical axes of our size box, bro. Now the point is we need to go back in here, guy. Grab a progress bar. We can just type in pro because that's what you are, a pro. Drag your progress bar into the size box and boom, go down here to the percent, set it to 0.5, bro. Now, I'm just going to keep it there. That's pretty good. You know what I'm saying? We got a little, all we need one is the health bar. We ain't even doing anything crazy with it. I just want to be able to add this to the player. Now, here's not the player, but the enemy. And again, we'll add code later. Now, what we're going to do is we're literally going to add a widget. So we're going to go here, WDAG3. Now, you got your widget. I'm going to name it Widget. Because that's, because that, because that's, because, all right, anyway, the point is, with widget selected, if you see the class here, that's where we need to pick our widget. So we're going to make sure it's selected, which it was. If HUD is selected, you could just click the little arrow. Boom, we're done. We're, we're, we got, boy, we win, bro. You got a HUD on your player. Okay, or, or, enemy, actor, character. Okay, good job. Now, thanks for what I'm just kidding. Let's go back in here really quick. Let's do let's do a couple things. I want you to set it from world to screen. Big deal there. You're like it disappeared. Not really. I want you to go back out here and play it again, bro. See what happens now. It's still there. It's like now it's, it's it's real broken. But hey, at least it's rotating towards us, right? At least it's rotating towards us. We got to start on it, bro. We got to start. Go back. Let me go ahead and knock this out for you. Just check it out. Remember the size of our widget. Remember the size of the size box. If you go back, look at the size box. It's two hundred by twenty, bro. So go back here and with the widget component selected, and we got to set the screen. Set those right there. Two hundred by twenty. You know what I'm saying? Control C, Control V. Don't do that because that's copy and paste. I didn't say that. Now, the only problem is the health bar is nice size, but it's right in the middle of him. You know what I'm saying? And you could continue adjusting those sizes or go back and adjust them in here. But I'm going to drag it up above his face because I want it to be above his face, bro. You know what I'm saying? With a little, little health bar and on, top of, on top of my guy. Now, he's cool. Now, honestly, what we're going to do is real quick go back. And we're, all we're going to do is we're going to type in the word Box. You type in the word box, you get a box collision, bro. And we're going to drag it down here a little bit. Okay. We're going to drag it maybe if it works for me. Okay. There it goes. And we're going to size it up real nice. But make it pretty big. Make it pretty big here. You know what I'm talking about? Like, we got to get a good ways into it. And that's it. Now, what we'll do is we'll go into the code here. We can, there's nothing in here, as you can tell, because we deleted it. And we'll right click on the box, and there's two of these add on begin overlap and add on and overlap. And what we need is the same thing from other actor. We want to cast to whatever character we're using. Now, we're obviously using the third person character because I've got the third person project open here. So I'm going to make sure it's plugged into both. That's all. Okay. So what we want to do now is I want to go to my widget. Make sure you go to the widget. Scroll down here with widget selected and turn the visibility off. Okay. We did it. Now we want to bring in the widget. Huh? Get it. 
set visibility. You probably already see what we're doing here. If you don't, I can't help you. Now, the point is we'll, we'll copy and paste that, plug it in here, plug this in to the same widget, make sure it's plugged into both of them. Now, what we want to do is if you go into the box, let's turn the new visibility on. But if you leave the box, let's turn this new visibility off, bro. Now, that's it, guy. We're going to walk in here. We're going we're gonna to show up. He's a guy. He's a little enemy. Imagine he's a little turtle over there. He's going to come get you. He's going to take your wife. And you're going to go over and talk to him. Be like, don't take my wife. Now, when you get close, you got a little health bar. You see he's got half his health, which means now you get a little more brave because he's just a turtle. And he's not going to take your wife now because you, you're going to take him down. But the point is, you can see the health bar kind of pop in and out. But what's cool is it rotates towards you and that's the most important part about this tutorial is to make sure you understand that you can set the widget to always be kind of in there and again no matter which way you, how far you get it's going to print it that same size on the screen so make sure you understand that's how we did this one you know we when we set it to the screen it's always going to size it to be whatever size you you made it in here and then of course you're overriding that size here when you well we if we actually look inside the character you you set the set the actual HUD here and the size here. And again, all I did was match what we had here. And it's when the size box. Feel free to play with those values, but I recommend you keep them the same. That's how I keep everything neat. Again, you can do it a little differently, but that's how I do it, and it seems to work really nice, as you can tell. Works really, you know, it gives me zero problems. We'll add some code later, but guys, thanks for watching. Josh here with the Pride Productions. Thanks for listening to our new EP, Black Adam Rain. It was sweet. Sorry about a week and a half on no tutorials because I had to get them three tracks out. Love you, miss you. Um, but guys, I'll see you soon. Hit us up. We got all the links in the description. Follow us on all our, our all our different social media platforms. We got an almost 1,900 subscribers on, on freaking YouTube, which is so freaking cool. I can't even explain it to you. But guys, again, thanks for watching. Hope you learned a little something about adding it. Again, it's all about that screen. Make sure it's set to screen, not world in here. When you go to your, when you set here, if it's set to world, you're going to see this nonsense. You know what I'm saying? You're going to see, uh, well, you're not going to see anything right now, but it's going to be, it's going to be broken. I promise. Make sure you set it to screen. Very, very, very important. But again, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Love you. Miss you. Peace.